In Judges 4, we're introduced to Deborah, a prophetess, wife, mother, and the fourth judge of Israel. Once again, Israel has drifted away from the Lord, and Deborah calls upon Barak to lead 10,000 troops against the Canaanite general, Sisera. Look at what Barak says in Deborah's response in verses 8 and 9. Barak told her, I will go, but only if you go with me. Very well, she replied, I will go with you, but you'll receive no honor in this venture, for the Lord's victory over Sisera will be at the hand of a woman. So Deborah went with Barak to Kadesh. Now, we read that God gave the victory, bringing a massive rainstorm, and as the ground turned to mud, Sisera's mighty chariots, the military tanks of that day, were bogged down and Barak and his armies pursued the enemy, and every one of the Canaanite soldiers were killed, except for Sisera, who managed to escape on foot. Now, because of what Deborah told Barak in verse 9, you would think that it would be Deborah who conquers Sisera. But unexpectedly, we read at the end of this chapter that God uses a woman named Jael by driving a tent peg into the temple of Sisera to kill him. And this massive victory gives the armies of Israel the momentum needed to finally defeat the armies of the Canaanites. Now, anyone who's ever said that the Bible is boring, give them a copy of Judges chapter 4. It's a powerful chapter. Now, there are a lot of lessons in this chapter, but just one that I want to leave you with this morning. You see, Barak was hesitant to obey God's command to go to battle because he put his faith in Deborah and not God. So Barak lost credit for the victory over Sisera to a woman named Jael. See, God can and will use anyone he desires. He wants to use you. Trust him. Don't look to others or put your faith in others over God. See, God's commandments are his enablements. So as God calls you to something, look to him to give you all you need to accomplish what he has called you to do.